Hello YouTube, so today we're going to discuss about how the Holy Spirit was with Jesus and the disciples uh, even before Jesus uh, died on the cross, rose again from the dead and then ascended up into heaven. So I'm going to show that through the scriptures. So if we go to John chapter 3 verses 22 to 36 first, and it says... After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he remained with them and baptised. Now John was also baptising in a neon near Salim, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptised. Then John had not been thrown, for John had not been thrown into prison yet. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's disciples and the Jews and the Jews about purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, Jordan to whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing, and are all and all are coming to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it's been given to him from heaven. You yourselves bear witness that I said I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all, and he who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard that he testifies, no one receives his testimony. He who receives, he who has received his testimony has certified that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God does not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loves the Son, and he has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides in him. Now what John was talking about here, he was commenting on how Jesus and his disciples were baptising people who who were putting their faith in Jesus and they were believing in what Jesus had come to do on earth. And before previously, the baptism that John was doing was the baptism of repentance of sins, basically meaning that these people were t changing their mind from not wanting to sin anymore and turning to, to follow God now. But the baptism that Jesus was doing, it was the baptism of believing baptism of salvation of believing in Jesus and what he and what he he'd come to do on earth and basically if we focus on verse 34 it says here for he who God has sent speaks the words of God for God does not give the spirit by measure so he's basically saying that's those who receive the spirit that Jesus, who had received the Spirit of God, had received it in full. Now you're wondering how does that, but how does that mean that people who been, how does that mean that the Holy Spirit was dwelling with the disciples when it was clearly saying that the Holy Spirit had not been sent from above because Jesus had not ascended yet? Well, if we go to John chapter fourteen. So if we go to John chapter 14 and read verses 15 to 18, and it says, If you love me, keep my commandments. I pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and, you, and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I I will come to you. It's basically saying here that if we focus on verse 17, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither receives him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and you will be and, and will be in you. 
So, as we can see that the Holy Spirit, he was dwelling with the disciples, but through Jesus, and he was giving the, the disciples the power to like heal diseases and cast out demons uh, via the Holy Spirit, via Jesus, uh, put it like anointing them to do those sort of things specifically. So he was with them like all around, like just their presence, but he was not actually in them yet. And, but as we can see here, it's like he will be in you. So when Jesus came down to earth and had his disciples and was doing his ministry, the Holy Spirit was with the disciples, so to speak, in Jesus and like as a presence there, allowing them to do the miracles and to preach the gospel and all of that jazz. But now that when Jesus ascends, when people believe in him now, the Holy Spirit will actually dwell within the disciples' souls and minds, so to speak. And that he'll be with them now within within the disciples and within and within anyone who wants to put their faith in Jesus Christ and have eternal life in heaven. So yeah, so in summary, the Holy Spirit was with the disciples before the Holy Spirit was the Holy Spirit was on earth with the disciples before Jesus ascended. He was with them in Jesus and he was there when he was there with them and Jesus sent them out to do miracles and preach the gospel and so forth. But when Jesus ascended he was now in them so to speak like just like just like the Holy Spirit was within Jesus when he was on earth. As it says in the scriptures, I can't remember where it says that like, we are sealed with his promise, which the promise is the Holy Spirit. So if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.